Dear participants, our guest will join by 10.15, so kindly bear with us. Thank you. Hey. Sound cake there. I already have moved.
check
Good morning to all of you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Morning, ma'am. हेलो यस मैम
Maria, the guest has joined us. 
नॉट एट जॉइन मैम वो जॉइन नहीं ना पोटर कर रहा परिया पार ना जॉइन नहीं ना पोटर कर Joining, madam, no quarter there. We'll see. Yeah, students, wait for five minutes. No, the sir just he was having some meeting. Yeah, he is joining now shortly. Welcome, sir. Welcome, madam. Welcome, madam. Very sorry, madam. Extremely sorry. Uh, no problem. It was held an important meeting. Can we start, sir? Yes, madam. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, Maria, you can start. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Nagaru, be start. Yes, ma'am. A pleasant morning to one and all present here. Now let's start the session with the welcome address given by Miss Pooja. Technology will not replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers can be transformational, said by George Coras. 
with this note a pleasant morning to everyone of you for being here with us today it's my privilege to extend a cordial welcome to all on behalf of faculty of education dr mjr education and research institute we would like to welcome with gratitude our honorable president engineer acs arun kumar sir for granting us permission to organize this technology talk with tremendous pleasure we welcome our chief guest dr v shanmuga nidhi associate professor and head in charge department of computer science and engineering national institute of technical teachers training and research chennai a warm welcome to you sir we also welcome dr k geeta principal faculty of education dr mjr education and research institute for initiating this program it's my pleasant duty to welcome our beloved students faculty members and all the participants for this technology talk on ed tools once again a felicitous welcome to one and all present here thank you all sir kindly accept our virtual bouquet sir thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you so much thank you pooja for your warm addressing guest had beauty to one celebration now i invite ms niveta to introduce the guest Technology can become wings that will allow educational world to fly further and faster than ever before, if we will allow it. I am profoundly delighted to take an opportunity to introduce Chief Guest of the Day. He is none other than Dr. V. Sanmuganidi, Associate Professor, Head in Charge of Department of Computer Science and Engineering from NITTR. He has 19 years of experience at NITTR, Chennai, in training and software development and maintenance. His working domains are web technologies, security, machine learning and data analytics, e-learning systems, LMS and CMS tools, cloud computing technologies, programming paradigm, educational technologies. He has conducted more than 200 faculty development programs in areas of web technologies, machine learning, data analytics, software engineering, Java enterprise application development, .NET framework, data communication networking and learning tools he also conducting training programs for overseas it professionals in title of information and communication technologies in education and training design of educational applicants using web technologies he has been board member of studies for various institutions he has published 20 plus papers in national and international journals he is also presented and published more than 20 technical papers in national and international conferences he is a reviewer of journal of in internet technology and international journal on web service computing he is a to add as a source of pride, he is a reviewer of American Society of Engineering Educational Conference Papers and he is associating in research domain of CSE as a doctoral committee member of four research candidates. Not only that, he is also offers mocks in SWAM platform on student assessment evaluation, LMS2 module, technology enabled learning from July 2018. It's a privilege to have a, such a talented and knowledgeable resource person. Uh, Mr. I am mostly pleased to welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Occupants. Thank you, Niveta, for your wonderful introduction. Now I welcome our beloved chief guest, Dr. V. Shanmuga Nidhi, to educate us on the topic eight tools. We are eagerly waiting to hear from you, sir. Now the section is yours, sir. Please. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, extremely sorry. Uh, I apologize for the delay in the start, but anyhow, I will uh, move the session. I do not know any other session scheduled after 12.30 or something like that, but I will continue. Uh, maybe I will make this one as more interactive as well as some uh, demonstration I will do as well as I will give you the uh, what a technology you know, initiatives our government of India uh, is doing particularly to improve the education through technology with respect to national education policy 2020. Okay, so those details we will see. Uh, so let me share my screen.
So participant will be able to see my screen. Yes, yes. sir. It's visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, fine. Actually, when we consider about uh, higher education system, the technology is playing a major role. The reason being is we usually start with one you no know, proverb bar. It, it is it is like <laughs> a, a statement like cooking is easy, washing the utensils is very very difficult. Normally, people who I mean. Uh, you are all aware. So, how we have to effectively manage the timing and how we have to effectively manage the teaching learning process. So, in that way, the technology enabled learning, particularly the educational technology tools, playing a major role. Even in NEP, also, they have clearly given the input that how we can effectively we are going to use the technology enabled uh, learning so that to improve the teaching learning process actually it is purely a scientific uh, you know strategy it is not like you know simply we are using tools purely on scientific strategy so let us see exactly the concerns what exactly the reality what we have to do and what are the different kind of a tools are that let us uh, discuss in detail so what exactly the current reality among the students? Maybe uh, if you consider maybe two, three decades before, the scenario of teaching learning process is different. And just three, four, five years before, the teaching learning process is different. And after the COVID, during the COVID period and up to today, the teaching a learning process is completely different. Actually, each and everyone is giving a lot of learning to the faculty members. It's not that, uh, you know, we are moving from one scenario to another scenario. Ultimately, our job is to make the student to understand the concept. But what is happening? We are adopting new technologies, we are adopting new strategies, we are adopting new method, which will more comfortable to the system. I, th I am saying that system, it's not only to the students. So I'm adopting some technology, I'm adopting some tools, or I can say I can adopt some method or strategy, which will be very much useful to make our system more effective. That is what, you know, uh, we are uh, moving towards that. If we hold the old strategy, which we have used 20 years back, whether is it suitable to today's system, that we have to think about it. So what exactly the current reality? The concern is short attention span. Even the students are not in a position to View the videos, view the videos, more than 10 minutes. Actually, when we talk about style of learning, one style of learning which is called visual-based style of learning, which is more powerful than other learning because that will give more demonstration, that will attract more audience. But that itself, the students, take only for 10 minutes or 10 to 12 minutes. So attention span is, is completely cut down. Actually, somewhere else I am getting the uh, some bell sound like, uh, 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 please let us see that uh, some bell sounds coming. Uh, yes, please sir. mute. Yes, yes, yes. So the short attention span is one of the you know, key challenge that the teacher we have to overcome. Then second is, the students are not choose not to pay attention. What is the meaning here is, 
see though they are in the class maybe we used to say last week we had one meeting with the, uh, a few professors earlier days or now uh, once the physical classroom we have started actually i can ensure that students physically here mentally they will not be there in my class once i started the physical class but when we do the online classes we do not know whether students physically and mentally both they are available or not so that will be a big challenge but particularly you see why the students not to pay attention because the the viewers they are not engaged in proper manner but is it possible to change completely the teaching learning process no how we redesign the system how we redesign the system so that the student can pay attention how what we have to do then lack of reflection that is a very big concern whether whenever you know you are interacting whether they are in a position to react or if i am interacting with them or they are in a position to interact with me again this will be a challenge because now whether they know it or not they are not reflecting to my sessions why what is the reason behind it what is the reason behind it whether i you know they they since they are not uh, uh, to pay attention and the reflection is also one of the thing which is complementing each other then text literacy even i you know for everything they they are finding the short words and the the organizing ability of the students are coming down actually this will impact maybe few years after you just to think about it maybe the the experts you can just see this scenario actually soon uh, you can see the you know the impact of the the text literacy the poor uh, in text literacy that is the students are not in a position to organize their idea the students are uh, you know poor into Oh, improving the writing ability all the thing they are putting the shortcuts and the way they are communicating also completely with the shortcuts so we do not know where we are going that way how can make them to improve in their text literacy and the last concern actually in 1996 i started to 96 96 when i started to use internet where we started working with the world wide web so those days uh, the very popular search engine is the yahoo search engine i put a keyword in the yahoo search engine right that the yahoo search engine if i put the keyword getting the one link which is suitable to me is a challenging one today we have a very powerful search engine called google search engine that the google search engine if i put a keyword then i will get the 100 links from the google search engine but i do not know which link i have to choose we based on the page ranking algorithm i can get the first link which will be suitable but really it is suitable to me it is a big thing whether very minimum amount of material available in the wide web there also we, we faced the challenge today we have a plenty of material in the world wide web again there is a a challenge what what is a challenge this the, the quality material how to identify the quality material sometimes we can see the material which is completely irrelevant or completely a wrong material it is also available in the web so these are all main concerns these are all main concerns whether these concerns only in the physical classroom these are all the concerns available even in the online classroom but how really the technology play the role so that i can provide the solutions for the challenges because since the scenario is completely or partially changed from the the earlier perspective what i would like to say is this is the most important time to be in education particularly after the covid and today government of india is starting the many initiatives doing many initiatives particularly digital university is going to come 
maybe those days we had a distance uh, mode of uh, degree but now they are talking about digital university very soon government of india is going to announce and most of the you know learning happened uh, through online so this is the most important uh, time to be in education and another important thing is to care about the education so policy makers and the experts who are all they have to frame a proper policy maybe now we had a nep 2020 where completely we have to improve our whole education system so that you know our system is more stronger than the any other country so care about the education then the impact so what impact we are going to make so that actually the another component is called responsibility the social responsibility so really the education system is going to make the, the responsibility of the society or what really the society needs right so as a, a faculty member you have to be in education system and you have to take care of your education and what impact you are going to make in the education system again you know uh, that you have to uh, think right but one thing you can understand always we have to think about it whatever the challenges we are facing and there should be a solution okay it is not that the challenge does not have a solution any other maybe it is a, a challenge of our uh, uh, you know in the personal or any technical or a problem which are taking in consider for our academic system or any profession whatever the challenges are there whatever the problems are there we, we are taking into our upward in professional environment all the problems are having the solutions i cannot say the problem is not having the any solution any problem okay in fact my earlier director used to say uh, actually whoever is going to the uh, go with the problem sir i have this problem in my uh, department or in my profession and uh, he, he don't want to listen to the problem he asked us to give me the solution because whoever is coming with the problem you know what will be the solution also or partially you are all aware of what will be the solution so come with the problem along with the solution no come with only the problem because you are all aware of it so the same way what i would like to say whenever you have a challenges whenever you have a challenges always always there is a possibility of solution so, so how we are going to uh, take solutions and make the impact on the education system okay that is what we have to think about it so always we say government college okay always we say that there are two components earlier we mainly talks about earlier we mainly talks about the pedagogic component we okay? mainly talk about the pedagogic component so how to teach okay how to teach this is what pedagogy or we can say that andragogy right how to teach only we will think but now we talk about how the technology can be blend with the pedagogy okay the technology can be blend with the pedagogy that is what today uh, we are going to work on it so it is like a, a, a rail maybe i can say rail right uh, one is called pedagogy the another one is called technology how each you know the pedagogy is linking with the uh, technology so that the smooth running of train over the rail okay so that you know rail you are all aware there are a two uh, uh, line is there in between uh, there is a connectivity there should not be a gap it is not like like a sine wave this side you know this side and a connectivity so there should be a proper pedagogy and a proper technology which has to be linked properly so that the smooth conduction of you know the teaching learning process will happen so technology playing a very very important role in the pedagogy so that how my Uh, you know i have to manage my time how i have to do innovation how i have to uh, uh, think about uh, 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 you know enhancement or transformation so all the things i can do with the uh, what is called with the technology how i am going to do that right so don't think that it is not uh, actually admit all okay admit all okay so so it is not that what software does 
Actually, there are n number of softwares are available. N number of softwares are available. It is not what software does. When I talk about technology, don't think that just thinking about only tools, but how the technology can be used to blend with the pedagogy. So here, the role of user is very much important. The role of user is very much important. How the role of user uh, with the tool is very much important than what is the the power of the software because today. There are n number of softwares are available, particularly when we talk about uh, uh, active learning. Because when we talk about different kind of a learning, maybe I will discard this. I will share my entire screen uh, so that I can I know the. Uh, now, now my whole screen is visible to you, right? I can type in the notepad. So participants will be able to see my uh, notepad. Yes. So when yes, we sir, talk yes. about uh, different tools, how I can make the uh, classroom more active? So we talk about active learning. We talk about active learning. When we talk about active learning, what is the impact of active learning? That very much we have to understand. Then we have to talk about. What exactly collaborative learning? Okay, when we talk about collaborative learning, that impact also I have to uh, think. Then I have to talk about integrative learning. Okay, when we talk about technology, integrative, right? So what I'm learning. Where we about how I am giving that uh, you know the student engaged with the so many activities, and this will uh, you know uh, bring very very important uh, concept called how the content need to be connected with context. Okay, that I will you know. so that is very much important how the content need to be connected with the context right otherwise what will happen the students are good in learning but they are understand once they are you know i am giving the problem they do not know how to solve the problem how to uh, because everything they are learning only the content whatever see uh, suppose i am asking one question i think i do not know whether here a yeah, chat box is available i think all you have learned mathematics right all you have learned mathematics right you have learned so many mathematics am i right or wrong yes participant can you type what are the mathematics you have learned can you type because now you can type in the chat box you go to your chat box and you can type what mathematics you have learned so maybe from the smart words numbers from very good good navas basha very good Number system only number only one answer from Navas Basha. Yes, statistics wonderful, wonderful. Armaya Srija very probability good, 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 good probability algebra very good very related algebra. Then profit and loss very good. Reka Srija trigonometry again okay. Puviya Rasan said algebra very good. Then geometry yes, yes, yes. Yes, real analysis something they are giving. Then trigonometry, algebra, probability, statistics. Yes, yes. So many things you are learning, right? Now whatever you have typed every day, what mathematics you are using in your life? Life, okay? In your life, every day what mathematics you are using? Every day what mathematics you are using? Every day, day to day life. all no all we are we have studied all the concepts like uh, profit uh, geometry trigonometry algebra uh, probability statistics all we are using but daily you no know, what mathematics we are using yes yes please please type again again in the chat box life mathematics <laughs> what life mathematics i do not know i could not understand uh, uh, cp priya what is life mathematics but uh, maybe uh, jeffrin is very clearly is telling that add and subtract okay because uh, multiplication and uh, uh, division again uh, what is called der derivation of add and subtract only okay 
so you just to think about it yeah play with the number okay so just to be think about uh, we are using add and subtraction then multiplication division right from the add and subtraction as you said the profit loss all you are calculating fine but then why you have to learn about algebra why you have to learn about probability why you have to learn about all the things okay is it necessary for that to learn why we have only addition subtraction why we have all these things trigonometry where i am going to apply trigonometry okay where i am going to apply the uh, differential equation uh, integral calculus all those things so what happening we are talking about only the content and we are not talking about the context okay so where this uh, trigonometry is applied where this uh, differential equation is applied where the integral calculus or where the probability where the statistics applied so whether we are thinking about the context or our students are thinking about the context right so it will be a, a, a very important question we have to ask in our class then collaborative learning how actually then this it is not necessary that you know teacher alone have has to uh, clarify the doubts when we talk about collaborative learning a student may also clarify the doubt of another student so how do the students are nadi idu na nadi panna yes how peer to peer learning happening uh, among the students right that we have to uh, think when we talk about technology then, then integrative learning integrative learning actually uh, i could see that when the students studying the subjects okay whether the student able to connect the subjects okay but that will be a big question mark each student studying the subject as as individual subject they are not connecting the subject with another subject even we, when we give a training program to the faculty members we ask the faculty members how the subject one subject is connected with other subject then only The, 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 whenever there is a you know any problem they have to uh, solve in, when they are going to the industry they should be in a position to apply the solution not only from only one theorem or one principle so how whole what are they have studied a, a, a solution is sometime it may be integration of so, two subjects okay how they are connecting the subject so the integrative way of learning because maybe maybe when when i talk about uh, you know uh, building uh, blocks individual block does not have a, a, any meaning but i uh, add more number of blocks then it may give uh, uh, some 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 very good visual or sometime you are all talking about uh, you know the young kids they are having the or uh, there is the diagram like uh, like 1 2 3 like uh, there are many dots so individual dots dots does not uh, reveal any any you know shape but once you connect from 1 2 3 4 5 like that once you connect then it may give you some shape okay so individually dot does not you know provide any shape but you connected the dots then that will give the what is called the shape so what exactly the meaning is integrative learning how i integrate the concepts okay so that is again the very important con- you know thing we have to understand then another thing is creative learning then evaluative learning okay so these are all the learning strategies we can we can adopt okay once i go for technology enabled learning but this learning as earlier we did our you know all faculty members we did uh, in our face to face classroom with a different scenario but today i wanted to use effective tools okay effective management techniques so that acute connectivity issues faced by me okay so how i can you know uh, do with this you know creative learning and evaluating whether you know there is a very big you know thing as failure failure is considered as considered as issue failure is considered as learning okay so how critical and how creative okay failure any failure or i am doing i am i am taking a project i am doing a project there is a issue in my project or I, the project is failed okay so 
I, I consider that failure is considered as an issue, issue in my project. Or otherwise, that failure itself is considered as one learning. So hereafter, I will not proceed in that way. How the students are you know, uh, going to learn that create learning as failure is considered as a learning. That Then evaluative learning, that is learning through questioning. Okay? So there are like uh, different uh, uh, teaching learning strategies we can follow, particularly the five we can follow when I adopt the technology. But when, when, when we talk about the technology enabled learning, there is some models are available. There are some models are available. If you use that model, then you can wonderfully you can enhance your teaching learning process and ultimately the student they will be in, you know uh, uh, enjoyed the, the sessions. Okay, so that, that we will see uh, further. Okay, so before going to that. Would like to ask a question. Participant will be able to see the screen. You can scan this the QR code and give the number 003503 or else you can go to slido.com. Then it will ask the number 003503. Then you just to write whether you have used any tool for your class. Okay, whether you have used any tool for your class and which tool you like, any one you can type, any one you type. Participant will be able to understand. You go to, you take this QR code or you can go to internet where you can type slido.com. You can give the number 003503. Nobody, no one, no one, fast, fast, please. I would like to um, see the interaction, okay, not just join me here. Not just join me here, I would like to see the interaction. You just to go to slido.com. Maybe I will I will go there, then I will put that one. I think you are all, you know, just I am going to a new window. Slido.com. Once you go to slido.com, then it lost the code. Okay, you can do the code 003503. Yeah, I got one answer, only one. Yeah, mind flash. Yeah, very good. Now they started. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, yes, please, please. Fast. Yes, please, fast. Yes, please, fast. Two, only two participants. Almost 95 participants are here. Almost, yeah, blended. Blended method, method of, uh, you know, teaching. Very good, very good. Very good. I am Dr. Menaka. <laughs> no, I am asking you to your most favorite educational technology tool for class. Whether you have, if you have used any tool, maybe for past one and a half year, two years, Trello, very good, very good, very good. Google Meet, Trello, Blended, only four. If you have not used, not like you can write so that at least I see that you know how many of them not used. Jamboard, very good. Jamboard, quiz, okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. Only, only five response from the nine, from the ninety, only five response. From the ninety, I got only five response. Microsoft team, good, 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 good. Microsoft team. Yes. Google Keep. Oh, you are using Google Keep for uh, uh, storing information and to get the alert. Google. Yes. Yes. Only five. Others never used anything. Others never used anything. 
only five response among the five oh <laughs> okay fine so you know only i got five response from the participants 95 i do not know all you are listening my lecture right uh, whether uh, kahoot wonderful wonderful kahoot okay wonderful kahoot think link very good think link kahoot very good very good kahoot think link very nice very nice okay fine 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 so let me uh, you know uh see that you know uh, people used to think link then uh, kahoot the team microsoft team zoom for online class trello google keep mind flash so the tools you know you are using fine right now we will see the different with the fine fine blackboard lms i think blackboard lms i, I do not know really you are using the blackboard it's a proprietary item fine wonderful but you have uh, typed the blackboard lms uh fine so let me you know just go with the, what is the model uh, we should follow particularly for uh, you know technology enabled learning that is with the ed tools maybe i will give one tool to to demonstration so that you can make use of it for your students right actually the summer model is how we can use different uh, tools at a different uh, scenario that's very much important actually what exactly a uh, summer is substitution augmentation modification then redefinition okay so the substitution augmentation both are considered as a enhancement then modification redefinition considered as a transformation so what is substitution substitution is i am going to use a tool i am going to use a tool that tool will be the direct substitute of i face to face classroom right but there is no functional improvement only it will whatever i do manually that here i am going to do through some technology through some tool okay that is what is called substitution so day to day i am doing some activity day to day i am doing some activity so that activity how i am going to do through some technology so what is the advantage of that what is the advantage of that but it it is not improving anything on the functionality okay whatever i do in this environment that i am going to do with the technology but ultimately what I, what is going to benefit i am going to benefit with the save time okay so ultimately because if i do manually then you will take long time i do the same through some a uh, technology okay so by the way what are the different kind of uh, uh, tools which can be used for subs maybe online classroom what we are talking now what we are taking now right now we are taking i am not using anything else just i am delivering the lecture from zoom just i am delivering the lecture from zoom so that lecture i come to your location and i do not know how many of you all of you sitting in the same location maybe in the chat box you can give the answer the chat box will say every one of each one of you are in your own location each one of you are all in your own location everybody uh, is not sitting together everybody is not sitting together okay all you are not sitting together you are at your own location so since you are all at your own location be able to attend the session you will be able to attend the session so by the way whatever i do through this i can do through online classroom right then online assessment tools online assessment tools so suppose i wanted to do assessment which i do through uh, what is called uh, through uh, face to face i wanted to do through somehow in the technology tool and the interactive whiteboard so when i do online classroom i am you know have a problem of what is called uh, uh, normal blackboard which we used but here i am using the interactive whiteboard so interactive whiteboard where i will be able to show the you know expression for example i can have a open board uh, i think i have in my machine 
let me check whether I have a board. Open board. I have a open, open board. Open board. Actually, I, I, I uninstalled here. I have a software called Open Board. So I used to give the demonstration through Open Board software. Board software. Then file sharing through Google Drive. Now what sir? you are doing? Uh, yes, sir? please. Sorry for yes. the disturbance, sir. Your screen is not uh, sharing, sir. Kindly your share your screen, sir. Yeah, yeah. I am sharing my screen only. So after that, uh, yeah, now it's visible, sir. Thank you. So when it was not shared, man. After that, slido.com uh, activity, sir. Oh, after that. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So now we will be able to see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's visible now. Yes, yes. Actually, actually see, madam, here, as already I told you, you know, that model, whenever we talk about technology-enabled learning or yet tools, we are talking about, uh, okay, okay, okay. We are talking about uh, the model called summer, summer models, nothing but substitution, augmentation, modification, then redefinition. Substitution and augmentation is considered as enhancement uh, uh, technology. Then modification, redefinition is called the transformation technology. So here, what is the exact meaning of substitution is, whatever I do, face to face that I wanted to do through, through, through some technology. Ultimately, the benefit what I'm going to uh, uh, get from the substitution is save time. Okay, because it is happening to what is called uh, some, some two. Okay, so maybe you can also interact or type into the chat box, or chat, bo uh, chat box. So what are all the tools? Maybe what tool you have used uh, for, for uh, saving the time, which already, uh, you know, uh, uh, taking out of your time when you are doing the face-to-face -face class, right? So maybe when we talk about on classroom, I told you, you know, online classroom where you are sitting, the face-to-face -face class is replaced with the online classroom. Then online assessment tools, maybe I will, I will uh, show one link where you can have a, a different tools. Uh, actually, yeah. I'm clicking here. So now, uh, blog, UMass technology tools. So if I go to the site, if I go to the site, maybe you could see that after all the online assessment tools are there, maybe different kind of, uh, maybe n number of tools are there, n number of tools are there. Okay. Uh, you know, all these tools are, you know, can be used for assessment. Then community tool, that is a collaborative tool. Okay, so some collaborative tools which you can use for, so Trello also somebody said they have used. Okay, so tools for, you know, a community tool. Then we have to learn, okay, learn tool. Okay, there are a n number of tools are there. Then learner-centered tool. Okay, the student, they can do the self-learning. So what are all the tools are there? Right, so like there are different uh, tools are available in different, uh, you know, for purpose. So those tools somehow it will be not only substitution level, it will go to the level called augmentation. But the substitution means whatever the tool I am using, which will be, uh, which will be directly, you know, related to only I am using the insights in the online or tool, but there is no functional improvement. There is no functional improvement. Such kind of a thing I am doing. For example, uh, today you are sharing your file in the Google Drive. Later you are downloading the file. What is we, we, we used to do? We used to copy into the pen, pen drive and we carry the pen drive. Nowadays we are not carrying the pen drive. We have up to 15 GB. Uh, have a what you called uh, space that went through a Google Drive. Then other thing today, all you are sending a mails, all you are sending their mails. Those you have to send through post, but nowadays you are not sending through post. Normal post office or greeting card. I think you know. Uh, still, I think some of you might have remembered the greeting card uh, during Pongal, during Deepavali, all festivals you do. But now the WhatsApp. Uh, the day morning, you have given a wonderful greeting card to all your friends. So whatever you did earlier with the, what is called 
uh, uh, physically that you are doing through uh, technology. So the tools for substitution is it is substitute. It, it is just a replacing your, uh, uh, you know, the work which you are doing manually in the classroom that you can do through technology. Maybe one tool I can uh, uh, teach you. Maybe you can uh, enjoy the tool. Let me give a uh, what is called description about the tool, right? So one tool I am going to use it. The tool is called hot potato. The tool is called hot potato. Okay, so in the hot potato, I can teach you one tool. That a tool you can use it as a technology as well as you can use it as what is called face to face. Both way you can use it. Both way you can use it. Okay, so what you can do, and uh, for the using the tool, you have to go to hot pot.uvi.ca okay this is the site you have to go to uh, download okay again i am hotpot.uvic.ca so if you type this one in your browser if you type this one into your browser then you will get this to hot potatoes version 7 where you click downloads you will get this maybe you can get the download instead so i will put this uh, link into the chat box uh, maybe later uh, you can use for uh, download and you can use it. Okay, so this is the tool hotpot.uv.ca. There is a download. So, what exactly you can download? It's like just like 8.5 MB, 8.5 MB only. Okay, it's a very small software. 8.5, sorry, 8.5 MB. It's a very small software. We can make the student you know, very uh, interesting. You can engage the student through this one of the tool. Okay, fine. So let me demonstrate the tool so that, that tomorrow you can make use of this for your students. You can make use of the things for your students. Now, uh, the tool I can demonstrate now. So now, the one thing is, I would like to know from the participant, anybody use uh, crossword for your assessment? Crossword. I think you are all used to crosswords, right? You have solved the crosswords. Uh, crossword means, you know, in the Hindu, Soduku, you know, in the Hindu had a Soduku. Then in uh, a Tamil magazine, like a Varamalar or Silver Malar, uh, that is a Dinamalar magazine. Or if you go to any magazine where you can have a crossword. Anybody have you used the crossword in your academic? Uh, yes, I have used. Yes, uh, Sabari. Uh, you have created or have used the, I mean, uh, uh, solved the crossword which is existing. Have you created, Sabari, can you answer biological science? Have you created or you have used uh, from the magazines or from the online, whatever it may be? Yes, participant, please uh, uh, res respond to my uh, query so that, uh, you know, uh, we can, we can uh, uh, see that one. I used to from Mac. Wonderful, Sabari. Wonderful, wonderful. So now what I am going to do, I am going to teach you how to uh, create, how to create uh, the crossword for your subject, for your subject. Okay. It's a simple way to create. It's a simple way to create. I will give you the step-by-step -step procedure. Okay. Step one is download the software and install. Okay. What is the step one? Download the software and install okay this is a step one so step one okay step two open the software step three select j cross step three select j cross now i am going to select the j cross you see i am going to select the j cross i am selecting the j cross okay then step four is Go to menu, this menu you go, go to the menu, right? In the menu, I'm going to click the ma uh, manage grid, okay? I'm going to click the manage grid. So in the manage grid, I'm going to set the grid size, okay? So step three is set the, four is go to menu where manage grid where set the grid size. So once you set the grid size, suppose if you set the grid size as well, 
then no word in the crossword answer would be uh, should not more than uh, 12 okay for example i say uh, some word that word should be less than 12 then only you can you can say the grid size is 12 even you can less than uh, 10 if you give that will be more you know appropriate don't use the word which will be exactly the same length okay so that you can set it so once you set the uh, grid size so i am going to change the grid size as uh, 12 okay set the grid size as 12 then give the title then give the fifth one is give the title okay then sixth one is i am the title okay so sample i am giving as a sample then the next one is again go to manage grid there automatic grid maker automatic grid maker okay that is what you have to do so manage grid automatic grid maker okay so in the automatic grid maker you can give the words later you have to give the clue for the words okay first you have to give the words it should be a single word it should be a single word it should be a single word later you can uh, give the clue for the word now i request the participant you can type into the chat box uh, 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 give some words later you have to give the clue for your own word i am waiting for you i am waiting for you so this tool i am going to use for use it for substitution that is what i do face to face that i am going to do through technology and face to face also you can use it both way you can use it that i am going to demonstrate first level substitution yes participants can you can you type it in the chat box you give any word you know uh, in the in the crossword suppose you are saying your knowledge good navas pasa knowledge yes later uh, for the knowledge what should be the clue the clue that you have to give so my my word uh, my 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 grid size is maximum 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 only okay the length of the uh, the word is 9 okay good so knowledge it should not go beyond 12 why because my grid size is itself a 12 only then only one word navas only has navas only uh, submitted i i i request all the participant please participate no, uh, no it should not be sabari it should not be two word it should be a single word i think you have used the cross word never the word is having the space in between but however i put the word as a single word as a notebook so already you know i think most whoever used uh, 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 the word uh, that you, i mean used the uh, what is called uh, crossword you 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 know that that word should be a single word okay for 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 sorry i can use the biology biology then discipline discipline then skill yeah learner yes wonderful wonderful now only everyone started very good very good you go to your chat box and type education very good Edic, very good wonderful 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 encyclopedia wonderful jeffrey psychology okay experience okay first so this is a step so first step is set the grid second grid size second one is give the title then third one is go to manage grid automatic grid maker student very good very good dr menaga guru swami very good wonderful manitra very good parmaya shrija very good one more more one or two are abundance very good okay with this we will finish reka Oh, now it is keep on. I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Okay. I think it's enough. Students, position, teacher, SRS. Yes, AU SRS. Then I think with this we will stop involvement. okay teacher already given examination oh enough 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 i think all thing will not fit into this 
okay like i have given the word after given the word i just click the make grid make the grid but what it is saying i have a 16 word but the only thing is i mean uh, this the stop now it will after 10 word so if you want to increase it you can increase the grid size okay increase the grid size so i am stopping now because it's a sample one i am stopping now so these words uh, not able to set if you want to set these words then you can increase just the example only you know so i am uh, you know ignoring those words okay so this is the crossword creator now next step is okay so, uh, manage automatic grid maker then click okay add the words okay okay then sixth step seventh step is add clue click add clue click add clue okay i am going to click add clue once i click add clue now you see the window will be there where i can have a different kind of a words okay where i have a different word whatever you have give now you have to tell me what is the word i mean clue that will give the answer called student so here it is called across here it is called down so participants can you who said student can you tell me what is the clue for the student so i select select the word select the word then it will be a gray color now you give the clue for student so who said the student who said the student let me check ah dr g menaka gurusami so what is the clue so that the student can give the i mean whoever is giving the answer as a student one who goes to the school oh wonderful so not a teacher teacher is also going to the school <laughs> one who uh, goes the school okay so uh, okay i am entering that okay then uh, what is the education so select the education then give then click okay after give so who give education 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 sabari biology sabari uh, noting someone who is studying in order to enter the particular profession okay okay this okay so that is education in psychology someone is giving a oh, study of mind behavior wonderful so select the word then give the answer okay then next one is a precision precision or oh, learner a person who learn the subject or a skill wonderful so where exactly learner is available so precision i need the answer or oh, precision i got accuracy on the exactness precision then for biology biology abundance uh, actually uh, recommend um, abundance uh, uh, actually that word not able to accommodate it within the thing i think abundance see whatever the word available here those words only we are going to see what happened when I'm going to apply my grid size is very small it unable to fit all the things okay uh, that is the reason sorry recommend sorry very sorry uh, uh, <laughs> since it's a sample i have uh, just ignored okay no issue Uh, let me ask uh, precision biology teacher examination discipline skill okay teacher examination discipline skill then precision precision uh, accuracy okay precision already they gave accuracy okay click okay precision came biology teacher who teaches lesson to the student okay right uh, what about uh, biology examination discipline skill biology basic okay biology okay click okay then and the across over across for all i finished examination discipline skill examination discipline skill examination discipline skill examination discipline discipline skill ah uh, discipline enforcing okay okay fine 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 enforcing enforcing obedience and the perfecting moral character very good wonderful then who said examination let me check who said examination examination by priya La, uh, lal priya lal please priya lal priya lal i think you are all away priya, priya lal are you there priya lal you gave examination then who said the skill skill 
skill phone said the skill uh, manitra mantra 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 skill priyalal okay i think i got the answer examination examining student knowledge okay skill skill expertise yeah mantra has okay after giving all the things then click okay okay this button you click this button you click then now you see very simple we can go to file okay very simple is i can tell you add to add the close for across and down across and down across and down okay then okay the eighth point is go to file save go to file then save file save so you save as add to okay i saved as add to with some name then what i do i am going to again save name okay then again ninth point is go to file create a web page okay file create a web page standard format okay so file create a web page standard format now we again give the name i am giving the same name okay format give the name of the file okay then now it will ask do you want to view in the browser do you want to view in the browser like a question last yes click that button click that button okay so if you click that button then you will get the the complete thing so click one then you see course go to the school click two then it will ask the school teach lesson for the students then click uh, uh, four then denoting someone who studying in order to enter the particular profession click five like six seven like whenever i click something then this will be the software this software this tool actually the finally i saved the html file you know you can give in the google classroom via google classroom or through someone some way you can uh, uh, put if if you have a site google classroom or if you have a whatsapp you can just send the file student can open in the browser and they can solve and they can solve okay this is you can use it simplify the you can simplify your face to face i mean uh, crossword to technology no sir i wanted to use a face to face technology both together as a substitution then what you can do you can go to the software for for paper pencil for paper pencil go to 11 for for paper pencil for paper pencil then you have to go to file file then print go to file export for printing export for printing export for printing okay so like go to file export for printing then use print crossword now you see it is displayed here what way it is displayed here across down so now earlier when i click i will be able to click and i can see that so now it is for printing so you cannot click this print out you can give to the student so now you see i am selecting the printer and i am giving the print out so this paper i am giving to the student so this is face to face i am doing the same i can do with what uh, through online also through some tool also i can do so this is what is called substitution this is what is called substitution so the substitution is whatever i do face to face that wanted to do through a uh, uh, technology tool and that uh, whatever that 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 one also it should be more interesting 
is not like you know the student get bored or the student is happy with the assessment system it is just writing a page by page as a theory then the student will not involve they will not pay the attention so i wanted to make the student to pay the attention because we saw the concern not to, to choose students are choosing not to pay attention i will bring the student to attention so that is what you know we can do to substitution right the second one is augmentation augmentation is it is nothing but effective time management see time management i do through save time is which is with the substitution but the same i am doing very effectively very effectively where where what i can do it is not only just i am doing and also it is reducing some of my work it's reducing some of my work in the sense the system itself evaluating the system itself make the student to understand so though i deliver some content the system is giving some additional input to the uh, student okay it's augmenting supporting augment it is supporting the student to make more enhancement so substitution uh, it is directly it is doing whatever but there is a functional improvement you see here what i can say what i can say so without functional improvement without see there is no functional improvement when i take a pen without no functional improvement then it is called substitution with the functional improvement some functional improvement is happening then it is called uh, augmentation okay it is also direct substitute but there is a functional improvement maybe automatic evaluation happening automatic uh, you know uh, uh, some some uh, uh no uh, some some ease of ease of some system is happening then i can say that is the augmentation so that augmentation you wanted to do that kind of a thing you want to do then what is called that will be i consider as augmentation that tools how i am going to use so automatic reading system online classroom for example i am presenting i am writing everything in the board instead of that i am using the presentation so presentation whatever i write in the board then i'm replacing with the presentation but at the same time see simply i'm using the google meet simply i'm using the google meet so online classroom is happening i am not only using the google meet i am using the breakout rooms in the google meet where i am improving the collaborative learning so normally what way we do actually the, in the google meet there is a option called collaborative learning so for example in the collaborative learning i can break out the room so there are 100 participants then the 100 participants then i can define that number of breakout rooms then the student uh, uh, 10 rooms means that each room has having the 10 participants so they will discuss among themselves and come out with after 10 minutes they will come out with the solution and a q and a question and answer polls these are all the things i do then it will enhance the effective time management it is give more interaction right so those kind of thing if i do that will more augmentation that uh, that is called in the summer model so i am going to use that technology for my classroom teaching maybe uh, uh, i would like to say one of the uh, uh, tool but it's a licensed tool up to certain level 3 days it will be free maybe you can make use of it this kind of a tool will be very much uh, you but there are n kind of a tool even i have uh, show that no maybe one of the tool called yet uh, is called yet puzzle so yet puzzle you can use it to uh, what is called uh, uh, to make the uh, interactive video uh, but the bookwidgets.com this is a wonderful tool uh, this tool will be uh, used to for some assessment which will more interactive with the students maybe this i can show the demo this i can show the demo right so this link you can have it this link you can have it so i remove this i click this you just to see i am opening a page right actually this is a sustainable development goals there are 70 sustainable development goal right uh, so i will put this one in your uh, chat box you may also try it okay chat box so i put this one in the chat box you can try uh, uh, not to one everybody everyone in the meeting okay everyone in the meeting actually uh, i have already i have given the one link for downloading the software okay i am giving one sample in the book widget you can go to the site and you click 
and you click any one uh, for example uh, what is the goal number uh, what is called education i wanted to go for quality education goal number 4 so there there is a circle quality education if you click the quality education right this one then it will uh, uh, give you some assessment okay most of the children part go to school live on which continent okay suppose i can say africa right something already attended that is the reason it is showing right so some other uh, uh, thing if i wanted to do then for example i wanted to make that uh, uh, student to do uh, uh, clean water and uh, sanitation so if it that then i will have a quiz on what is called clean water and sanitation how can you use the less water so a uh, uh, potable water is then uh, what does most of the water resulting from human activities go which statement is correct what percentage of water in the world is potable so like you know you can have the uh, is called uh, so which which one wanted to so kind of a interactive you can deliver the lecture and you can make the student to participate in your lecture you wanted to uh, give the interaction among the students and you can also get the same you can also create kind of a thing so that will give a more impact on on what is called uh, augmentation so uh, how to create how to create actually uh, already we have discussed one tool called uh, what is called a substitution now we are going for other one that is called uh, uh, augmentation so before that i would like to know from the students so i have shown the site i put it the chat box do you feel that augmentation enhances the learning so go to slido the same number 003503 can you answer for this question no one started no one yes yes so one participant yes yes to again second participant also said yes only second participant also said third also said yes only a third also said yes only third also said yes only uh, three participant only responded so this is what is called uh, i am using the slido now uh, you can download the slido and you can install automatically this will be installed in your uh, uh, powerpoint then you can you know uh, yes uh, sudarshan can go to online and you can do so that you can you know you are interacting with the chat box actually slido is a tool if you go to slido uh, you download this one and you whenever you do presentation you can make the student to interact maybe someone may say that uh, no it is not enhanced it is not at all you have to uh, use the what is called uh, only say yes or no not to say thing so just i am giving the sample so during the class you wanted to make the student to get the thing or the response right so now sir it is not enhancing right uh, so if everyone say hands let us see how we can you know use this you can go to bookwidgets.com you can go bookwidgets.com so you go to bookwidgets.com then you can use free link you can use freely you can use freely you can use freely so sign i am signing in through google i have a google account i sign in through google okay my id can use it my id i have used widget so suppose i have not used book widget like i can click like i can click i am not the robot okay i agree uh, agree i am not the robot then it's asking motorcycle so here motorcycle is there here motorcycle is there here motorcycle is by okay so it is verifying now i am logging in register and account i need it is going there you see the widget is there are many widgets are there many widget you see here uh, you can create a widget your own widget you can create your own widget okay so widgets are there there are some widgets are there so here there is no widget i am creating a new widget so what the way you saw that uh, uh, one link you know i have shown link 17 goal so in the 17 goal you have uh, answered it the same way you wanted to do by your own 
So here you can have a crossword, hangman, mind map, mini game, jigsaw puzzle, pair matching, word search, uh, bingo, then random to so spot the difference, right? Then uh, test and review. These are all the game based. Test and review where you can have a different thing. For example, I'm using the quiz. So when I'm using the quiz, I wanted to use the quiz, the single answer or multiple answer. There are a different way. Okay. So I'm clicking the add question. So in the add question, I wanted to have a multiple choice. Multiple choice, multiple answer is all available. Multi-line text, single line text, fill in blank, mark the sentence, like a different thing is. So I wanted to give a only one sample text to multiple choice. Then I am giving the question uh, with uh, online, uh, uh, name, the, name the online tool uh, which we are using now which online tool uh, uh, name the online tool which we are using now for online class, online lecture. Okay, like I am giving. Okay, like I am giving. Now I have to answer. Okay, so answer. Uh, Google Meet, Meet, MS Team, Zoom, Webex. Okay, so give the correct answer. Random the order, answer order. Okay, now uh, not I'm not going to add the uh, one more question, right? Now what I'm going to do, title I'm giving. So title is enable submitting the answer. Then general, all the thing I'm doing, now I'm going to uh, save, this, save this and I'm going to use this. Okay, I'm going to use this. Okay, so now uh, I this is the only one question I, I have. So no more question I'm going to add. Now I have one widget. I have one widget. This widget, I'm going to use it for uh, my purpose. This widget, I'm going to use it for my purpose. Now I'm going to my widget. You see one widget I created. Okay. I click this widget, then I could see the uh, uh, widget. Widget, there I can have a question. So my widget, I have created one. Now I wanted to show, wanted to show, wanted to show how it will look like. How it will look like. So it will be look like this. I will move this. It will be look like this. I can send a, uh, uh, you know, mail. Uh, I can do. Then there is no more question. Uh, there is no more question. So that you can show. Now I am going to share this. Oh, short, uh, short code. I'm finished. Okay, short code. I'm finished. Okay, so I click this. I click this. Random rational. Then the scoring options I am giving as a one mark. Image. No, there is no image I am giving. Audio. No audio. I am giving. Rational. Uh, no rational. So uh, enable answer, allow student to submit only once. Okay, allow student to submit only once. Like I'm giving a kind of a thing. Now I'm going to share this one to the student. Share this one to the student. Okay, so I created, I'm going to share whether I'm going to use this, right? Or I am going to share through Google Classroom or QR code, which I'm going to give. So I'm going to give the link, show the uh, teacher link as well as the student link. So share this with the student using the link below. So now I am going to uh, uh, share it into the chat box, chat box. So you can see from here, you can see from here, okay, you can see. So all of you see here, so show the teacher link. I am taking the link, teacher link. I am opening the link here. I am opening the link here, okay. Uh, now, click the button to go back and review the answer. Okay, teacher link. And now you can use this link and you can give the answer. Use this link. You can use this link. I, I put everyone. Okay, you use the link. Oh, this is the question. This is the question. Participant be able to see the question and answer. Yes, I click that answer and click submit student name and giving student name Nidhi, then email shannidhi at the aa.com send. So my answer is updated. Okay, all done. Okay, teacher can get the complete detail. The teacher can get the 
completely tied actually the chat box is putting me here and there one minute i will connect the, the charger okay so the teacher can show the teacher link i can take the teacher link and i could see the uh, what is happening uh, with, the, with with this okay that data i can get it okay so submit so uh, the, from the teacher link i can get the details okay and send the answer this is a student link all coming so teacher link i have to get it from the this one there it is Oh, where it is? Yeah, and also you can integrate through Google Classroom, and also you can integrate short code. You can give this is the short code. Share the widget by short code uh, that you can. This is the short code you can give, or you can send the email, or you want to link to the connect to the Google Classroom and connect. For example, I can connect to the Google Classroom this widget. You can connect allow, and you can connect. So this, this uh, assessment will come into the your Google Classroom. So that way also you can give. so this kind of uh, tool if you start to use then this will be you know uh, what is called give uh, more effective time management here you know uh, your content will be more enhanced your content will be more enhanced then uh, tools for modification actually modification is is a transformation okay it's a transformation so total transformation we are doing so let me uh, again go to the previous slide okay go to the previous slide so technology allow for significant task redesign okay this is what happening so technology allow significant uh, task for redesign significant task for redesign so what is happening so what exactly your classroom is what exactly your classroom is so i would like to ask a question what is the classroom consists of what is the classroom consists of so participant can you tell what the classroom consists of don't tell that uh, chair uh, chair table board like that uh, what's the meaningful what exactly that your classroom is what exactly your classroom is can you can you type into the chat box uh maybe i will look into the coordinator side sir uh, what time i have to finish so coordinator side may i know what time i have to so that i can plan accordingly yeah uh -huh. till up to 1 o'clock sir okay okay one o'clock so now the time is uh, 12:50 another two more minutes fine, fine so student teachers teaching learning environment wonderful wonderful so student teachers teaching learning environment so the classroom is consisting of student teachers teaching learning environment you just to think about what is the meaning of what madam she has written right a classroom is consisting of a classroom is consisting of resources and activities okay so what exactly resources teacher teacher considered as a resource only you just see a teacher is also considered as a resource uh, and the teacher is referring the uh, uh, textbook okay again it's considered as a resource teacher is referring some textbook is considered as a resource so whatever uh, the input the students are getting all the things are considered as a resource so in the face to face class the, the teacher is going to the class and uh, uh, delivering the lecture the teacher is giving the lecture material the teacher is giving the notes all are considered as a resource but today what is happening the students are not only rely on the teachers okay not only on teachers actually we used to say there is a kind of environment okay there is a kind of environment a two environment one is called the push environment one is called a push the another one is called a pull so what is the push environment the teacher is sitting in the center the students are you know at the corner okay, the students are at the corner so here the student here the student here the student here the student so students are sitting at the whatever the teacher delivered that information will go to the uh, student okay so student they did not have Any other opportunity to learn from other side, 
the teacher may give the textbook the teacher may give the reference book the teacher may give the lecture notes and the teacher is considered as a prime resource for the class okay only prime resource but now this is what is called a push environment the pull environment is the student sitting in the center and there are a many uh, uh, things are here okay so world wide web then some books some teacher then friends okay peer group some lms all all are different uh, you know teacher is also considered as world wide web then some moocs online then digital university or swayam something they are saying so all the things are at one corner the student can not only taking the material only from the teacher okay the the student can take the material from the swayam the student also taking the material from web so some open educational resources are there the student also taking the material from oer so like this is what is called pull environment so it is not push environment the teacher the student uh, they can get the material whichever uh, uh, which is suitable for their pace of learning right so this is what is called the pull environment so student like more on pull environment so here you see in that environment there are two components one component what i can say that the resource the another component what i can say is activity this is what is normal real classroom so in the real classroom face to face class each teacher considers as a resource and there are a lot of activity happening in the classroom you are interacting with your students you are the, asking the question to the student and you are uh, clarifying the uh, doubts among the students and you are giving a problem and ask the student to solve the problem and you roam around in the class so all the things are happening this i wanted to simulate in the online environment this i wanted to simulate in the online environment okay then the suitable thing is learning management system so like there are the lms are there for example free uh, canvas then free moodle i mean moodle uh, with the free free uh, okay free uh, uh, moodle then blackboard then school uh, uh, schoology so th there are many thing i have shown to Uh, you in the uh, site there are many thing i have shown to you in the website uh, let me show you again right let me show you again okay so knowledge tools community tools you see here google classroom people are using ms team schoology they are using okay so there are a different tool google classroom google classroom okay then ms team ms team so there are many tools uh, they are using for Uh, uh interactive classes where you can create lot of resources and you can upload lot of resources and you can can conduct lot of activities so the whole teaching learning practices i can put here so it is complement to see the technology cannot replace in the first word what uh, professor uh, introducing the session uh, she said technology cannot replace but technology can complement the teaching okay it is not replace technology technology cannot replace it is it is a yeah, complementing to but where it will replace where it will replace actually i have to talk in detail actually when when we talk about where exact replace uh, whenever when whenever we, we talk about a training or education system some of the things you know here we talk about bridge course so some days i think in the institutions we can talk about bridge course so those kind of a course the technology will replace the teacher okay so they have to learn through online and they have to come back okay i cannot say that actually a training program we can uh, uh, call that uh, the basics deepening the skill okay enhancing the skill deepening the skill then basics basics where i can use uh, moocs and lms okay when enhance the skill skill the face to face face to face then deepening the skill then they have to face to face with with uh, like a like a, a practical 
industry or industrial demonstration. Industrial demonstration. Okay. Because sometimes uh, when we when what we uh, learn or I we find that may be different from what is practiced in the industry. So that is the deepening skill when we go then face to face with industrial demonstration is needed. So that such a way when we go that is what is called it will take a technology allow for significant task for redesigning. Or that is what is called uh, a modification. That is a total transformation of our a classroom into LMS. So completely it will enhance. So that means that uh, that LMS will do substitution, the LMS do augmentation, the LMS also will give modification. It doesn't mean the LMS will not do augmentation. No. They, see, once I am in the third step, me, I climb the first step and second step. Then the last one is redefinition. So redefinition is technology allows for the create, creation of new tasks previously inconceivable. For example, I wanted to make an interactive video. So interactive video. So video we can play. How to make an interactive video? For example, today you can see uh, get TED. Maybe today you can just go through yet.ted.com. If you go to yet.ted.com, you can create your lesson. You can create your lesson through YouTube. Okay, any YouTube link. Suppose I wanted to learn uh, relational algebra. Learn teach relational algebra youtube okay like i do so relational algebra youtube someone is create someone is create or you can create the video i don't want to go in detail otherwise i will teach you how to create the video also so this video i can copy and i can go to my uh, what is called yet.com so this lesson I am giving, I will search the lesson. So this lesson I am going to make uh, continue, continue. Okay, this lesson I am going to teach to the students. Lesson I am going to teach the students uh, with the interactive. It is not only seeing the video. During the video, the student they have typed the uh, what is called uh, their their response. And if any doubt, they can notify the doubt uh, during the video. So all they can do uh, uh, through yet.ted.com or the max teacher, many people, they use one of the uh, uh, two called, what is called uh, uh, GeoGebra. GeoGebra. So here GeoGebra, it is consisting of lot of activities. It's consisting of lot of activity. Suppose num a number, daily number game you wanted to uh, play. This purely for education, you can use it free, completely free. Suppose number game you wanted to give, uh, take, an everyday number game, then you can know how to uh, practice and you can integrate the same to your full classroom and you can practice, you know, take this one to your online classroom. So create a lesson with the, and that uh, number game, you can click with the Google. So this way, what I can do? I can uh, uh, take the GeoGebra. So these are all uh, what is called used for completely creating a new task, completely creating a new task, which will you know, uh, make the student enjoying the content as well as once the student trying to enjoy the content, ultimately the retention of the content is very high. Okay, return of the uh, thing is very high. So I wanted to make the student to get the concrete uh, idea about the learning, not abstract. So abstract, whenever we do normal lecture, face-to-face -face lecture, uh, it is very difficult to bring some of the content in the concrete manner. So to bring the content in the concrete manner and make uh, effective time management and make the student to pay the attention to my lecture, attention to my, uh, what is called assessment, then, then using the summer model, you can do wonderfully. In the summer model, you can do wonderfully. So hope I have justified that in R. But, uh, you know, uh, 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 hope this will be uh, useful to you to understand how really technology complement to your face, -face learning. Uh, if you have any doubt, I can clarify. Otherwise, uh, you know, we will conclude now. It's almost 94 becomes 68 now. Uh, I, I don't want to make you uh, angry, okay, because of your hungry. Okay, fine. Uh, yes, thank you. If you have any question, I can answer for your question. Thank you, sir, for your valuable lecture on it tools.
I thank from bottom of my heart for taking time of your busy schedule to be the guest speaker of the today's session. Thank you for your enlightening words, sir. That inspired so many students out there. Students, if you have any queries, you can unmute your mic and ask. Yeah, please. If you have anything, you can unmute your mic and you can ask me. I will. I will try to answer a few questions here. Actually, uh, uh, you, everyone say thank you means uh, you are all hungry. That's what it shows. <laughs> oh, any so questions I have... you can ask students. If you have any questions, you can ask them. Oh, no, sometimes we say in the meeting, madam, in the meeting, someone is giving an idea. We say wonderful idea. So wonderful idea means you wanted to ignore the idea. That is what I, that is the reason sometimes we say wonderful, very good. Then that person again will not give any other idea. Oh, I was appreciated. Yes. I should not say uh, you are not good. So that is the way I think uh, 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 Sandhya, madam, giving excellent. Uh, sir, please uh, leave us. <laughs> I got that thing. However, uh, what I say, you know, uh, I have given uh, uh, two, three tools. One is I have given the crossword. Second one, I have given the uh, uh, book widget that uh, uh, free. The same way, I, I have shown you different kind of a tool in the blog where you can use Padlet, Grid, and uh, you know even people said Kahoot you are using, Slide you can use, Mentimeter you can use, and the learning management system, actually you can use for uh, Canvas LMS, so that way you can use it. And uh, now, actually I would like to show, maybe if you go to Ministry of Education, Government of India, where you can talk about initiatives. So, Government of India is spending a lot of money, crore, crore, crore spending for, particularly for education. Maybe if you go to the site and you can see that a uh, lot of initiatives uh, along with the uh, higher, higher education institutions, maybe you are from here, UGC is doing a lot for you. UGC is doing a lot for you. Maybe you can take those things for your enhancement. Thank you. With this, we conclude. Thank you, sir, for your humble response. Now I invite Ms. Melissa for proposing the vote of thanks. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. A moment of gratitude makes a difference in attitude. On behalf of the Faculty of Education, Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute, we are grateful to make a gratitudinal note. It's my privilege to propose a vote of gratitude to acknowledge the contributions of those who worked really hard to make this event a successful one. Firstly, I extend my most sincere thanks to Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. We would like to thank Dr. V. Shanmuganidhi, Associate Professor, Head in Charge, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research. Thank you so much, sir, for sparing your valuable time to share your insights on it tool as to how these technologies or training methods improve teaching learning process effectively thank you sir your thoughts have really inspired us and we'll take it forward thank you so much sir we would like to extend our gratitude to our honorable president for granting us permission to organize this technology talk we would like to thank our executives for their constant support throughout our endeavor we are so happy to mention our deepest sense of appreciation to render a heartfelt gratitude to Dr. K. Geeta Ma'am, principal, for her tireless efforts in planning and execution of this event. I would also like to thank all the faculty members and students. It's a great pleasure for being with us today. Thank you once again for joining us through this virtual portal. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa, for your gratitudinal note. Now the session has finally come to an end. A good event never ends in a world. They take only a pass and keep us awaking for the next. Thank you, one and all. Uh, la last, uh, last one minute. Actually, I put into the chat box that the government of India education uh, gov in ICT hyphen initiatives in the chat box. You just visit there. Uh, you can see uh, maybe uh, plenty of initiative, particularly for ICT, because NEP 2020 is uh, supporting technology enabled learning. I think e pass sala, which will be very much useful to the teachers who are all doing the BA and for uh, you know science and humanities. Okay, so uh, that you can take it. I gave a link in the chat box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you. It's really an informative session, sir, for our young budding minds. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you.
Dear participants, feedback link is posted in our chat box. Kindly fill it. Within a week, you will receive your e-certificate through your respective mails.